Hey, what's going on everybody? Benji Kaiser here today talking about the top four best desktop computers for graphic designers. And I'm not just going to tell you about the computers that I recommend. I'm going to dig into the specs as well. So that way, say you, know, you go to Amazon, you go to Best Buy, and you want to find a computer, but you need to know what specs will work for a great graphic design computer. So I'm going to fill you in on all those details coming at you right now. I've been a graphic designer for just under a decade now, and I want to share my experience with you to help you enter into the industry with the best gear, tools, and tips. And as we're making our way through this video, all the gear and tech I talk about will be in the description below. Those links are affiliate links, and that helps out this channel, which I'm greatly appreciative of. And the question of the day is, what computer are you thinking about getting, or what computer do you already have as a graphic designer? I want to hear your recommendations. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is RAM. How much RAM do you need as a graphic designer and why is it important? Well, the reason RAM is important is because that is where your programs, your applications are run from. So you think about the Adobe Creative Suite. You have Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign. Those are your primary programs as a graphic designer. And you're running those programs. Well, what happens is each time you open a new program, that takes RAM, that takes memory to run that program. The more RAM you have, the more efficiently your computer will run. I recommend 16 gigs of RAM, nothing less, honestly, because you want your computer to run with great speed and not be bogged down during your jobs. I have 32 gigs of RAM in my computer personally, and I really like it for my Dell XPS 15 laptop. So that's my recommendation for RAM. Secondly, what size processor do you need? I recommend the i7 processor. The reason being is that it is the latest and the greatest. The processor really just helps you process the data, the files, and helps you process all the working parts within the computer. So you just wanna have the most up-to-date processor that you can get. All the computers that I recommend have the i7. Uh, some computers have the i5 still, like actually some of the iMacs have the i5. It's definitely doable because the computers are strong in other areas. But in my opinion, you don't want to fall behind technology, so the i7 is where you want to go. All right, now what kind of hard drive are you looking at? What, what should you get? What I recommend is a solid state hard drive. The reason being is it just helps with the efficiency and the speed of your computer. Also, it's gonna be far less likely that your computer will crash. There's no moving parts in solid state hard drives. And like I said just a moment ago, it's gonna boost the speed because they have quicker load times. So your applications are gonna open up faster, your documents are gonna save faster. It's just gonna be far more efficient. Now a computer that I recommend in this list has a SATA drive, and a solid state drive within the computer. The reason being is all your applications are run on the solid state hard drive and all your files are saved on the standard hard drive with the moving parts. This just allows the manufacturer to give you a more affordable product but still not compromise for speed. The size of the hard drive is fairly important. I recommend having at least 512 gigs because you don't want to run out of space really quickly. So when you're dealing with photos and even video files, because as a graphic designer you might get into some of that, you don't want to run out of space too quick. But if you don't want to get bigger than 512 gigs, I recommend getting an external hard drive. And Samsung has a really solid one that's really reliable, really fast. You can't go wrong with that. And of course, that is in the description below. You can grab a link for that product. All right, now the graphics processing unit. This is something I really wasn't aware of much when I first got into the graphic design industry. This is something that I believe is important if you're leaning towards a lot of raw photo editing and video processing possibly motion graphics. If you're just doing standard graphic design work like logo design, layout, and some minimal photoshopping, you don't have to worry too much about the graphics processing unit. But if you're considering video editing, some motion graphics, some large raw file editing, I would recommend getting a good graphics processing unit. I have a GTX 1050 graphics processing card in my Dell XPS 15 laptop, and that is a fairly fast graphics processing unit. Some of the ones that I recommend to come have the GTX 1060, the 1070, and beyond. And those are really well equipped graphics processing units. That's just gonna help your load speed, your exporting speed, your rendering times, all that will be sped up by the graphics processing unit. All right, now that we get all the specs handled, let me jump into my top four recommendations for desktop computers for graphic designers. Number one is the Dell XPS Tower. This computer is the best bounce of all worlds in my opinion. It is not the most expensive computer on this list, so to me it is the best equipped computer. First is the Dell XPS 15. Now I've actually attached two different Dell XPS 15 towers in the description below. 
because there's an affordable version, which is a great starter computer. It is really well equipped for graphic designers. And there's also a top of the line edition, which would be good for video editing, motion graphics, and, and things along those lines. You can look at the specs for the more advanced version in the description below once you click through that link. But I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the more basic version. It comes with the i7 processor, 256 gigs of solid state hard drive plus two terabytes of SATA drive, kind of like what I was telling you about. And then it has 32 gigs of RAM, which is well equipped for running all of your graphic design applications. And don't forget about the GTX 1060 graphics processing unit. And that again, will be a well equipped piece for your machine. All right, now this next computer is very impressive to me. It is the Continuum by Computer Upgrade Kings. They've put together this model and is a stacked computer. I'm super impressed by this computer. And the reason I put this one on the list is I wanted to show you what you could get when you compare Mac to PC. Uh, there's a bit of a rivalry going on with designers between Mac and PC. So I wanted you to see what you could get with a PC versus a Mac. This computer has the i7 processor. It is a liquid cooled computer, which means that all those fans aren't gonna run as much and it won't wear down your computer as fast. You'll be replacing your computer uh, as often as you would if you didn't have that. You're gonna get far more years out of the computer because of that. It has 32 gigs of RAM. It has a 500 gig solid state hard drive plus a three terabyte SATA standard hard drive. And what blows me away about this computer is it has two dos graphics processing units. It has two GTX 1080 graphics processing units, which is insane. Those are by Nvidia. So as I said, this computer is just maxed out. It's, it's absolutely incredible. So you definitely want to go down in the links below and check that one out. And for all you Apple fanboys and fangirls out there, I have the iMac 5K 27 inch Apple product. This computer is well equipped for the Apple products as they're concerned. They are more expensive on average than the PCs and sometimes less powerful. So if you love the Mac ecosystem, this is gonna be the computer for you. But as far as power is concerned, I find that PCs are far more powerful these days. This Mac comes with a quad core i7 processor. It has 16 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of solid state hard drive, and a Radeon 575 graphics processing unit. So compared to the computer I just talked about, it is not as well equipped, but if you're a Mac person, then this is definitely the computer for you. The one thing I will say about Mac is it does not run the Adobe Creative Suite as efficiently as the PCs do. The reason being is Mac products are made to run Mac native applications, whereas Windows are better suited for third party applications like the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite. So just a side note on the Mac versus PC. And lastly, I'm gonna show you the best budget, the best buy computer for graphic designers if you're just getting going and you need more of a budget computer. This computer is the HP Pavilion and it is well equipped for the price. This computer is well equipped with the i7 processor, the GTX 1060 graphics processing unit, 16 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of solid state hard drive, plus one terabyte of SATA standard hard drive. So it is well equipped for a computer for graphic designers. Now, I hope this video has helped you get a grasp on what computer you need to become a graphic designer. Like I said, you can either follow the specs or you can check out the products that I've listed in the description below to get you started on your journey. I appreciate you tuning into this video today. Subscribe if this video has helped you at all. I put out daily videos helping you pack a punch and build an audience. Hit the like button if it's brought you any value and comment below if you have any questions. I would love to answer those for you. Again, I'm Benji Kaiser of BenjiKaiser.com and I will see you here on the next episode.